Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Pokemon Blue Version. Anytime I start up a Pokemon game, I don't know what it is, but I always want to say Fire Red or Leaf Green. It could be any Pokemon game. It could be Ruby, Sapphire. It doesn't even have to be Fire Red or Leaf Green. Not even close. And I want to say it. So, I don't get what that's about. Uh, we are... Okay, War Turtle's feeling a little bit. I didn't do it. Oh, he's got 86 now. I keep forgetting at level 30, regular potions really aren't going to do much. Uh, we'll use him up. Uh, okay. Hold off on the last one. Uh, we're just about to cross over. Oh, we gotta fight you. Okay. We're gonna. We don't have much to do as far as continuing on with Rock Tunnel. Um, there's really only one, maybe one and a half more late levels that we have to go through. So, let us plow through. Um. I have to waste bubble beam on this. Nice little critical. Oh, that was quick. Thank you for that. Hit me with your best shot. Alrighty. I, I sang that in my head. I just, I could not read that without singing it. I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. hope you guys are having good weather. We are... Holy cow, did it take a drop in temperature. Um, we are looking at, what, snow? Like, a trace to an inch of snow already? I think it's like by Tuesday. I'm like, this is awesome. We're gonna have snow around Halloween, which has only happened like a dozen times in Wisconsin's history that we've started recording weather. I'm hoping for a lot of snow this winter. I don't know about you guys. I'm a big winter kind of guy. I love fall and winter so much. It's just, it's fall is the perfect time, perfect weather to like inside and outside. And winter is the perfect time of year for gaming. I don't have to worry about sweating. Um, I don't have to worry about just overheating my room. Ugh, I got yawned. Why didn't I do a mega punch there? That was stupid. Just dragging it on a lot longer than it had to be. I thought I was still fighting the Machop for a second. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I love winter. I just wish I could get over this cough. Um, let's see here. I'd be surprised if maybe we got to level 32 with War Turtle before we got out of here. Withdraw. No. Just raises defense. Um, well, here just would have been defense, but I think in, like, the later games it raises physical defense. One hit KO. Let's switch it up a little bit and go Weeping Bell. Just a nice breeze through. No resistance whatsoever. Um, okay, so go down here. We're gonna take him on. Now that I think about it, there's a decent amount of trainers yet. I'm hoping to breeze through him in like, I don't know, 13 minutes, but we'll see. Nice. 
What does water do? Is that a one-hit KO at this point? Yes, it is. I don't think I've ever used Onyx going all the way to the Elite Four before. I don't even think I've used Steelix before. Interesting. The way I would like to do it is, and the reason I'm thinking about like other Pokemon too moving forward like Steelix, is that say if I do go through and I play later games of Pokemon, I would like to do it where I'm not using Pokemon from teams that I've already used in previous games. Um, okay. I don't think there's anything down in around the corner, but I'll, I'll check just to make sure. Graveler. I only see maybe one more of those before. Uh, Bubble Beam. I don't trust Water Gun with that. 603. Just from Graveler. Nope. Okay, so this level. There was something over here. Or not. Um, you can pass by most of the people in this section just by sticking low enough. I could have swore there was something over one of these sections. I'm gonna have to go back and see that for myself. Um, no, I don't want to save yet. Just trying to go to Pokemon. Um, yeah, we'll stick with War Turtle. Ooh, what do you got? Hoping that knocks it out. Oh, oh, it missed. Level Thirty-two. That graveler helped out a ton. Um, nah, we'll keep him up for now. That one really mega punch at 32? Wow, that's a beefy Pidgey. He can take a hit. Yeah, we'll switch you out. Hey, we're gonna get some more money after this one. Uh, 420 and picked up 42. Wow, 420 and 42. Nice. Uh, Weeping Bell. Yeah, like I was saying before though, like you can, a lot of the people in Rock Tunnel, you can, if you take certain routes, you can get around them without, without them seeing you. A decent amount of people actually. Oh, 
hoping you don't have a chop. Even so, I should be able to take you out. One hit KO. There's one more guy over here. Yeah. Oh, I think we may do this in 13. Maybe. level to go. Three slowpokes. Usually you have a cubo or something. This is the exit. Ooh, whoops. Well then, um, wrap. That did a decent amount of damage. I really don't want to get rid of that move. I mean, this man is just single-handedly taking care of this team with one move. coming up on 13 minutes now, so we got close. I think there's like one or two more battles. Then we are in the clear. Even with a critical, it didn't do that much damage. Wow. Got a beefy weeping bell here. Level 32. Nice. Um, no. Go with an acid. Holy cow. Um, I want to kind of take out Eradicate now. Use acid on it to see if it takes it on one hit. I wonder what acid does for you, because you're poison type. Oh, holy cow. One hit KO. Wait, Bellsprout is half poison, right? It's not just grass. No, it's half poison. That's shocking. Okay, I think this is our last one in here. There are four, like three or four battles outside of the tunnel, but you can skip those, which I'm going to do for now, because they're really not important. I don't really need to get those on camera, so I'll go and do those off camera, just to make it a little quicker for you guys. God bless you, Weeping Bell. 
Oddish. I want to see what acid does for you. Good. Bellsprout it took out way too easily. Even with you. You can't affect me with poison powder. Even with you, it did so much damage. You're half poison. 333, three, three. nice. Uh, yeah, after we get out, I'm trying to think of the next route we should take. So, this is all empty, and we are done. We are officially out of Rock Tunnel. Now, like I said, there are other trainers out here. You don't have to do them, though. So I'm going to skip them for now, and I'll come back to them myself. Oh, you guys have to hear this. Arguably, one of my all-time favorite songs in a Pokemon series it is so creepy and just fits the tone so well. Alright, so what we are going to do is heal. And we need to make our way left. Do I need to get rid of him? Yes, I do. Get rid of Clefairy. Technically, we're at the point where I'm not going to be using Pidgeotto. I think I would like to keep him there just in case, though. Just to keep a third backup. So what do we got in Lavender Town? We have the Volunteer Pokemon House. That's odd, Mr. Fuji is in here. Where'd he go? This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. We got a Psyduck. Pokemon Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application form is gone. It's been clipped out. Oh man. Ninarino. Lavender Town. The noble purple town. Um. What do we got in here? Hello, hello. I am the official name writer. Oh, so you, if you have a. Uh, this really only works with Pokemon that you've nicknamed yourself or. Um, Pokemon that you get over in a trade that are nicknamed. You can come here and just have the names rated. We don't have any nickname Pokemon, so that's fine. What do you got? I hate those horrible rockets. That poor Cubone's mother. It was killed trying to escape from Team Rocket. That is probably the most rated R thing I've, I could think of in a Pokemon game. That, like, for a kid seeing that? Cubone. Oh, is that the Cubone? That's sad. Alright. So, what we need is to get, is to move the Sylph Scope. Or, we need the Sylph Scope to be able to do something. So, we need to make our way over. Oh, dang it. I was trying to think of who I wanted to battle more. So we need to make our way over to Celadon City. And then from there, I think we can focus on getting one or two more Pokemon for our team. I think. One of the, I, I think I kinda wanna skip past Erica's gym at first too. Because we're going to have a little bit of a problem with that one. Um, being that 
our main Pokemon on our team right now are Weeping Bell, Grass, and say uh, Grass and Poison type, and then Wartortle being Water, and she's all Grass with some Poison. So I kind of want to hold off on battling her and working on one or two more people on our team because one of them is going to completely wreck her entire gym. Nice. Clefairy had some beef to him. Alright, so you want to keep, you don't want to fight all these people. So we got, at least not yet, we don't. Want to make our way over here. Oh boy. Okay, so this underground tunnel, you use it because, you, well we used one in Cerulean to get to uh, Vermilion City as well. The reason you do that is because we can't go into Saffron City yet. If we go, if we try to go into Saffron City, I'm on guard duty, gee, I'm thirsty though. Oh wait, there, the road's closed. There's four intersections, or four ways of getting into um, getting into Saffron City. You can't get in there until you have something to quest there or quench their thirst. While we're here, before we go into Selenon City, maybe we can catch a new Pokemon? Maybe it's a little bit of a backup. No, not you. I think... Pokemon is over here. This is just all Bellsprout. Oh, I may be thinking about Gold and Silver. I think that's what I was thinking about. In Gold and Silver, I'm pretty sure you can catch... Vulpix? No. I know you can catch Houndour over here. Um, but I want, I thought you could catch Vulpix over here, unless that was a different area. Because right now it's just all Bellsprout. I think I'm is gonna have to wait until our next match though. So, we are right at the border of, oh, Pidgey. You're a chunky Pidgey at 22. But that is going to do it for this episode. In the next episode, we're going to make our way over to Celadon City. And stuff is going to start opening up for us. We have a few different options, different routes we can take. And I'm very much looking forward to it. So I will see you guys in the next episode. I hope you guys enjoy Lavender Town. We're going to be back there in the not-too-distant future. So can't wait to hear that theme song again. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and peace out.